Have you ever seen such creatures? Raz has not. Probably neither have you. You are a newcomer, yes? New to this island of high elves? Ominous? No, nothing of this sort. Well, maybe a little of the sort. Depends on how things develop. Raz has come to Somerset at the behest of Queen Irene. To make ask some questions, determine the mood in Shimmerin, and see how the newcomers are faring. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Raz never saw such monsters in his life. They Find your own patch of Not that you'd understand the concept, but the path to a laxon requires dedication and complete concentration. An ultimate concept practiced widely here in Somerset. A laxon is the state of perfection that every high elf strives for. The path to a laxon represents the approach we take to achieve that state. I believe in caution as much as the next high elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. They took her away, said they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette, but I haven't seen her since. They told me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady, but who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf, I've said too much. I have perfection requires constant vigilance. So back to it. Now.
A newcomer in the warehouse district? Unusual. But how can I help you today, my friend? The Divine? Who told you that? If a Justicier sent you to try and trick me into confessing... No, no. The High Elves would never send a newcomer to perform such a task. But I admit it. I made my thoughts known. I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Before the Queen's decree, outsiders might have been rare, but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. But Somerset is a rare and beautiful jewel in the Abitian Sea. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. The Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I feel... This is unheard of! Why have you closed the monastery? Good people, I hear your concerns. But the workers I hired, they were aboard the ship from Rivenspire. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability for Ultima society. The old dark's right! Lock up the newcomers! Send the newcomers back where they came from! We don't want them here! Such anger! Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? Sequestered, hmm. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Ranul's cousin just arrived, but Old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about the lizard? 
What did Zog Solza have to say? <sighs> Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-High Elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the King Lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Raz admires your enthusiasm, but this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own. Raz has other fish to catch. This one will help you get past the sentry, though. When you notice that the sentry is distracted, just sleep quietly inside. Why won't this work? Did you see a golden knight? I have no idea what that was, and I'm not sure I want to know. Sentry! Raz owes you for that game of cards, and has come to pay. Well, I don't recall any... Uh, you say I won some great... No, oh, not now, please. Your spiritual well-being can wait until after my nap. You'll have to ask one of the monks that the new Aldark brought with him. They deal with all the newcomer testing and evaluations. I'm just a simple monk trying to catch up on my sleep. That way. Again with the questions about the newcomers. Why do you care about the complexities of Altma bureaucracy? Still, if I had to make a guess, I'd say they were taking into the Undercroft for registration and processing. Now, Aldark Tilkala arrived right after the Queen issued her decree. He came highly recommended by King Lady Avanis, or so I heard. The Aldark and his monks keep to themselves. They've taken the Undercroft for their own purposes, and ordered the rest of us to avoid the ancient vaults beneath the monastery. The monastery should be a place of peace and meditation. The Aldark has closed us down until further notice. That means if any of the monks spot you, they'll raise the alarm.
What's the matter with you? Get out of here. Office, wouldn't you agree? I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. The sequestered newcomers. I came to find out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well? Uh, interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. I find it intriguing and a bit disturbing. The sentry doesn't appear to have stopped you, so I could ask you the same question. Let's just agree that we both have our methods. That's the question, my cautious friend. We have a newly appointed Aldark and a disgruntled kin lady, both opposed to the Queen's decree. What's their connection to the missing newcomers? A curious pearl. I wonder where the Aldark acquired it. Probably not important. I'll meet you in the Undercroft, and we can see what's going on with the newcomers. Long on the other side of that door. Something's wrong down here. I sense magic. Vile magic. Cages? These people did not. Thank the divines! You aren't one of the monks. Please, let me out of here. It's a nightmare. We came to Somerset to seek new opportunities. We barely stepped off the ship when they marched us to the monastery. Instead of questioning us or the usual high elf bureaucracy, they locked us in these cages. The monks gathered them a few moments ago and took them through the door on the far side of the chamber. Is that a scoffing? Thank you for setting me free! A Daedra? Here? And that's a Scoffin, if I remember my Daedric recitations correctly. Very curious. An excellent question, and one I hope to find the answer to. From the evidence before us, it appears this Nord killed the Scoffin before he succumbed to his own wounds. Good for him. Then I suggest we pick up the pace. We need to determine what's actually happening down here, and who's behind all this. I'll explain everything later. For now, we need to hurry. Newcomers? Unfortunately, the magic only affects those who have been prepared. But never fear. Your turn will come. I'll deal with the pearl. You hold off these creatures. Magic attracts these creatures. Hold them off while I complete my spell. Come on, let's talk outside.
Those poor people. This wasn't just about newcomers and opposing the Queen's decree. That was Daedric magic back there. I just wish we had arrived a few moments earlier. I promised to explain what I know. I suppose that now's as good a time as any. I'm a member of the Sigic Order. Our Rite Master sent me to investigate a warning we received about a plot involving Somerset. The Sigic Order is an ancient magical monastic society. We served as advisors to the rulers of Tamriel, but that was before we removed our island home from the world. Now this threat has drawn us back. But an eye of the Queen? Interesting. I diffused the Daedric magic and transported the Pearl to Arteum, the Sigic Island for safekeeping and study, so we can learn more about it. Living on Arteum for a few centuries doesn't prepare you for physical activity. Let the Eye of the Queen know what we discovered, and I'll catch up with you later. Ah, this one's new partner returns. What interesting scandal did you uncover in the monastery? Tell, that isn't the kind of scandal Raz was hoping for. Murder, Daedric rituals, and traitorous behavior have a way of ruining an otherwise perfect day. We need to learn the extent of the Kin Lady's involvement, and by... Accuse? Not exactly. Raz wants you to talk to her, see what she knows about the Oldar, the Kin Lady is meeting with local leaders. Attend that meeting and learn the truth. A Sijik? Raz has heard rumors, but there are always rumors about the Sijiks. For an island of sages who disappeared more than 300 years ago, they certainly seem to get around. There was a life-sucking pearl. You should probably have led with that bit of information. Kin Lady Avenis and Raz do not get along. You see, there was a horse, a platter of pudding tarts, and the... No, no, no. This one won't bore you with the sordid details. Besides, everyone behaves well when they see Raz. You will...
Yes? And who might you be? The kin lady is currently engaged. She's... Hmm. Yes. So you do. And may I say that your outfit is suitably elegant. Uh, please. We all have concerns regarding the Queen's decree. I assure you that I am working with all Dark Takala to safeguard the sanctity of Shimmerine and all of Somerset. Enjoy the food and drink. Business of the city requires my attention, but I shall rejoin you shortly. How bold of you. The Nebarad dares to stand in my holy presence. Very well, bold Nebara. What can the new Aldark of Shimmerine do for you? And you heard that somewhere, did you? <laughs> I'll have to have a discussion with the Divine Prosecution about how lax our security has become. No, no, I jest. The Kin Lady and I have nothing but the best interests of Somerset and the newcomers in mind. You really are well informed about things here in Shimmerine, aren't you? For a Nebara. You're right, where are my manners? Using a word you couldn't possibly be expected to understand. It means unwelcome. As in, you are not welcome here. That's a serious accusation to toss around so casually. What did you say your name was again? I want to make sure to add it to the Divine Prosecution's observation log. I suddenly remembered some business I need to deal with as well. Feel free to pester the other... How dare you barge into my home without so much as a by your leave? No, I refuse to deal with one of the Queen's guests, especially not in my own home. How did you get in here, by the way? No, never mind that. Since you found your way in, I assume you can find your way back out. <laughs> Such innocence. You really want to know why I oppose the Queen's order to allow newcomers to enter Somerset? Because I'm trying to protect both the island and the newcomers. It's in everyone's best interest that we maintain a separation. Aldark Tilkala came highly recommended. He has grand plans for protecting Shimmerine. Grand plans. And not that it's any concern of yours, but my Chancellor has been unable to verify the Aldark's existence prior to when we met. And I recommended him for the position at the monastery. I assure you, Kinlord Milenthal praised Tilkala to no end. That's preposterous! Aldak Takala sequesters the newcomers to ascertain their suitability for life in Somerset. Those who pass will find a place here. As for the rest, they'll be returned to wherever they came from. That's what we agreed to. My lady, one of the monks had to deliver this message from the Aldark himself. The Coral Forest. An odd location for a meeting, but I need to hear the Aldark's explanation. Psst. Pretend you are adjusting your boot or admiring the architecture. As hard as it may be, look anywhere but directly at Raz. Good, good. Hmm. Raz thinks Avanis is as naive as she is complicit, but she is not a murderer. This new Aldark, though, has so much blood on his hands, it looks like he's wearing red gloves. From what I could discover, he didn't exist before he came to Shimarin. The Coral Forest? Hmm. A strange meeting place. Raz thinks we should go and see what the Aldark is up to. After I take back that outfit, I might need it again later. I'm glad I found you. While watching the Kin Lady's mansion, I saw her ladyship sneak out the back and leave the city. The Kin Lady is meeting the Aldark in the Coral Forest. 
Raz smells something, and it isn't moon sugar biscuits. Your reputation precedes you, Eye of the Queen. I am Valserin of the Sigic Order, and I agree that the Aldark is more than a simple monk. We should work together, yes. But let's travel separately, to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Raz will find you both at the Coral Forest.